What up, it's your girl Raven the Blazing Eurasian. And I'm here with somebody who does some nasty things on the turntables. Why don't you tell everybody who you are? It 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 it, it, it Rob Swift, aka the architect. So do you rhyme too? Or is that just is that something that DJs do as well? B box? You guys all B box? S W I F T on the M I C rocket for you and yours like this. Yeah. More or less. So, something like that, right? Something like that. Let's talk about Salute the DJ because, you know, Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival, Brooklyn uh, Bodega, you know, usually it's a one day event. And then we have five days of hip hopness. And Salute the DJ was probably one of the other more popular events that everyone was looking forward to. Tell me what something like that means to you as a DJ to have an event like Salute the DJ. It's important. Um, I feel like nowadays people are exposed to a small aspect of the music. Um, you know, what you hear on the radio and what you see on TV really doesn't encompass the whole art form. So I feel like events like Salute the DJ, um, I know Brooklyn Bodega had the main event Saturday with De La and, and a slew of other artists. Um, I feel that events like that give people a wider range of what the culture and the music is about, you know, and, and it's sad that that's a sign of the times that like the, the true hip hop artists like De La, like Lost Professor, like Bobito Garcia, you know, DJs, MCs really don't get to get the exposure that they used to back in the heyday of hip hop, which for me was like the 90s, you know? So um, I think events like Salute the DJ brings that era back. Start up the phonograph. Because I did get to sneak a peek and I got to see you do your thing. And I saw you kind of like paying respect to the DJs that were there. Mm -hmm. So was it so much, because I'm not a DJ, I don't really know, was it so much that you were doing their style of spinning or were you like playing the kind of music that they play? Because, you know, you, you did something for Bobito, for example. Right. You did some ill Spanish music. And I'm like, ah, that's because he's Spanish. Right. But was it that you were doing their style? Because you were yelling out people's name. This is for so-and-so. Yeah. So explain that to me. I During my set, um, I shouted out Large Professor mm -hmm. and I shouted out Bobito Garcia. Um, and, you know, for me, Bobito, Lost Professor are, are two of the, the, the people that when I see to this day, there's a part of me that kind of gets nostalgic and appreciative because, for example, Bobito Garcia exposed me and my crew, the X-Men, to New York College Radio. Um, you know, he was the, the, the first dude, him and Stretch Armstrong, were the first guys to invite us on college radio, Stretch Armstrong, Babito Show. I'm sure like a lot of the Brooklyn Bodega um, viewers and supporters remember those days. Um, you know, it was me, Grandmaster Rock Raider, Dr. Butcher, Johnny Cash, um, Sean C. went up to the radio station and just rocked on two turntables. So when I see Bob, although I'm at, I'm at a different level now in my career, I still want to kind of give thanks to him, whether it's a firm handshake or whether it's acknowledging him on stage because, you know, he played a role in, in me getting to where I'm at now. Right, right. Large Professor, I mean, man, what can I say about yeah. Paul? Like, not only has he been an influence on hip hop culture from a producing standpoint, a MC standpoint, um, he's been a huge influence on me. You know, I learned how to make a beat. I learned how to make a song by sitting in the studio and watching him, Lars Professor, put together Akinelli's album. Yeah. Um, so when I see Paul, again, it's that nostalgic feeling I get of like, wow, like it, it, it's like I'm reminded of where I came from. You know, we want to obviously salute you for being who you are and Thank doing you. the craziness. I mean, you are literally the best I've ever seen. I'm not saying, I don't know uh, if you- There's no best, you know. That, but I've ever seen though, see, that, that I've ever seen. Thank so you. I want to go watch that. Thank you. And uh, salute to DJ. <laughs> salute to DJ, Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival, Brooklyn Bodega, 2010, sixth annual one. And uh, let's go inside. All right, cool. All right, we out. Peace. Peace.